All right, admittedly, my first video was a bit all over the place, but um, I've got some stuff written down. I've got them in a little a sticky note. Uh, I can't even read my writing. So this this video should go well. Um, I've got a lot of subjects. So um, Dio's autobiography uh, is coming out at 2012. I mean, um, apparently he was um, he was he's been writing this for for quite a while with uh, just before his terminal illness. Um, he wrote it all like uh, just by hand, which um, it just it just shows what sort of a uh, guy he was. He didn't uh, he didn't want things like computers to uh, to um, to like control him and stuff like that. I mean that's just what I I sort of got out of that. But yeah, um, Rainbow in the Darks the, uh, the the title of it, and it's going to be released in uh, well release. It's going to be brought out in uh, 2012. So if the world does end, uh, which I highly doubt, um, it'll be a good, uh, it'll be something to end with, I guess. Um, the end of the world, as long as we all read the Dio book, we should all be happy. It should be a good read. I've read a lot of, um, a lot of, um, autobiographies by, uh, by musicians, but I think my favourite one is, uh, Nikki Six's Heroin Diaries. Um, very, very, very interesting, um, how an addict goes through this mindset and stuff like that, considering I used to be a an addict myself with uh, alcohol. I, I used to be pretty dependent on it before um, I I went clean. It's um, I sort of take a look back and sort of like, wow, I could have ended up like that. More or less, it's um, I I feel it's like my life if if I still drank and did drugs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Dio's book. Um, definitely when it comes out, we should all buy it. It'll be great. We can all like come together and read it. It'll be be grand. Guns and Roses uh, got in Australia. Um, got booed as well. Um. It's uh never been a huge fan of Guns N' Roses. Axel Rose uh, seems like the biggest cunt you could ever meet, and I have to say, um, I don't know if this is the same with all Guns N' Roses fans. I'm sure not, but it's especially the ones I've met and been friends with. Um, they seem to like backstab you quite a bit because um, Axel Rose is like their idol, and not go. I don't have a lot of respect for Axel Rose. I personally don't think he's a good singer either, uh, especially compared to um, like there's better singers out there. Um, but it's just he's got way too much of an ego, and uh, he, I feel he's not professional at all. The way uh, he comes in two hours late, I think, and then appears to be miming. Now, if you wanted to um, listen to a, um, a grown guy um, s like pretending to sing to a recording, hell, you could probably go to a wedding and watch all the drunk people, or just go home, just listen to it at home. I mean, I feel so bad for all the people that spent their money to... Uh, to go see that that piece of shit play. I mean, I've got no respect for Guns N' Roses. I've I've read a lot of um, what he's done. I've got no respect. The guy punches out cameramen. He uh, he cries, moans, and bitches goes away. And it, the fans that I've known, more or less, Guns N' Roses can just rot in hell. The guy's surely too old and too stupid to really know what um, true music is. I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm sure um, if some people hear this, I don't mean to offend. It's just. Um, it's just, it comes a time when you fall out with a lot of people, you should really take a look in the mirror and realise, yeah, maybe I should wise up. I mean, the guy is, like, how old? About 105. And he's he's running around still thinking that he's, like, two years old or, well, tw 15 years old, let's say. Um, and uh, it's just, it's just, it's just really sad. Uh, people wearing bandanas, um, it's just, it's like, uh, you can always tell that they're probably going to backstab you. Um, it's just the people that I've hung around with who've liked Guns N' Roses. I've been backstabbed by majority of the people who whose main inspirations in music was Guns N' Roses. Like, if they're a guitarist, they're Slash. They love Slash and things like that. Um, System of a Down uh, reunion. Um, I, pr I personally prefer Surge's stuff, but hell, System of a Down would be would be great if they were to reunite. I mean, um, I, I personally wouldn't believe it until they actually do get into the studio because I'm sure I've heard them heard rumors for them like reuniting loads of times before apparently um the their bass player wrote on twitter saying uh, are you ready for the system i don't know whether that's like some sort of cryptic thing it could have easily been for his uh for his gas bill or something like that um it until they go into the uh into the into the studio and start recording uh, i'm really taking this with a grain of salt and um, it, it would be awesome if System of Down were to reunite. I'm a, a huge fan of Surge. Uh, I love his solo stuff. Uh, System of Down are pretty good too, but again, I do just prefer Surge's stuff. Uh, it sticks out in my mind a lot more. Also, Opeth are working on a new album. They're going back into the studio in January. and 
um, I think the end of January, possibly. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Opeth. I've um, gave some people a listen to uh, some of their stuff, and the guy can. Uh, I'm, I apologize, don't remember the singer's name. Um, he he's a he's a tremendous singer, and uh, he's good at screaming as well. I mean, it's it's pretty rare to have a guy like that. And normally with um, with some of the singers that scream and sing, they they can't just get the, to be at the to hit the right notes because their their voices are worn out. I, it it that takes just pure skill. However, it's um with with like guitarists that scream and sing. I I it, it's maybe a cop out, but I I think that they've got more of an excuse. I mean, it's just uh, my opinion. I also um um like I I realized um like not not long ago um when I used to uh well when I was working out trying to like sing, I used to sing from my throat, which is like the biggest no no and like ever and you're supposed to sing and scream from your diaphragm i i just figured that one out uh not long ago so who knows i might be able to uh be like that i mean i can only dream and work hard at it i mean you can always get your dreams by just working and that's just me rambling let's just stop mike payton apparently uh is stalking uh todd smith's girlfriend mike payton from faith no more and todd smith from uh what's it called polka dot Polka dot something. Um, I, I've, I um, I haven't heard of their stuff. I'm definitely going to be listening to them. I should have actually listened to them before I I did this. Oh, um, Mike Payton. I'm a huge fan of Mike Payton. Um, his stuff with Faith No More. Uh, was a big, I'm a big fan. It's um, it's a shame though. I'm hoping this isn't is this isn't true. I'm hoping that they both just had an argument and like just um, just Todd's just throwing stuff out. I mean, apparently Todd's inspired by him as well, or they're both inspired by one another. I think they were both friends. It's so it's a shame when you people fall out over a girl. I mean, I really don't think girls are worth falling out over, um, especially if, uh, unless, of course, your friend steals your girlfriend. But yeah, fair enough. Uh, the guy can't be trusted, and you may as well just 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 never ever speak to him again. And I'm I'm just I'm just hoping. I mean, um, it was it was on a uh, video I was watching. Uh, it was an interview. Uh, apparently, uh, Todd's not wanting to give out too much, but um, I'm quite interested. I, 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 will t- I will, I'll possibly send you a link to, uh, to what it is uh, if anyone, if anyone's interested. Um, and Guar killed Sarah Palin. I think this was ages ago that this happened. But I mean, um, I, again, I'll show you the uh, the YouTube video that I saw. Um, Guar. I mean, the the girl that was playing Sarah Palin. My God, did she look like Sarah Palin? It was. <laughs> it just she looked very really really happy with the situation that was going on i mean if i was to get crucified i don't think i'd have the biggest grin ever i mean um it's it's obviously not sarah palin because if she was being told that she was going to get crucified i don't think uh it's not really on top of your to-do list really um it's uh well, but um the, she's in my opinion she didn't do a very good job grinning away that was a bit uh a bit stupid guar can't i i can't take that band serious i mean it, it's um if I, if i was to uh go i would love to go and see them live my god it would be quite a show it'd be um it's uh, it's mostly i think they've got like it's mostly um reaction based but um yeah guar i mean like if if they were to actually kill sarah palin i'm sure I'm sure they were like uh, getting in trouble and stuff like that because um, they're treating it like sh- they actually committed murder. I mean, Guar's Guar Guar was known for um, messing up kids' heads because, um, and of course, it's it's one of those um, things I was talking about on the last video where um, where it's like they can get mental problems. Your kids just messed up. Guar didn't do it. They they fair enough. They exploited on it. But they, it's it's your kid's fault. You should be able to teach your kids what's right and what's wrong. I mean, it's it's bad parenting more than anything. And I really can't stand when parents decide, um, oh, my kid was listening to metal before he decided to beat a guy's face in. And of course, like it doesn't seem to happen to any of her um any of her tunes. I mean, with um in England, there's a lot of um there's a lot of like crimes, and same with Scotland by uh, Chavs and Neds. Who listen to dance music? How come the likes of like um, Kanye West, when they're getting listened to, and the likes who are listening to Jonas Brothers, how come they're not um, getting investigated? It's always metal. I'm, I swear to you, it may sound a tad bit paranoid and and uh, metalhead fanboy guy, but um, it's it's just um, what I get out of it. Uh, Corey Taylor unleashes a Christmas single. Um, it, I've got it written down here. Um, XM at dollar sign. I mean. 
just just write normal letters, yeah. Um, wherever I got it from, I mean, I, why do people write with um such with like that? It's at and dollar sign x mat dollar. Right? I can't. It just I, why why? That's why I hate the internet half the time. Um, the logic behind it all doesn't make any sense. All these nerds speaking complete bollocks and telling you abbreviations and stuff. I don't know what that means. What are you talking about? Speak to me properly, you fuckface. What's wrong with you? Um, yeah, I listened to the uh, the Christmas single. It's uh, my it's pretty funny. It's um, I I enjoyed it. It was um, he he did a good job there. Um, I think uh, apparently he he uh, I mean this is this is uh, some comments I read after it. Um, that uh, the whole um, like said something like hi to Simon and um, the people are thinking it was to Simon Cowell, and um, if that was the case, come on, Corey. Uh, you don't want anything to do with Simon Cowell. The guy has no idea what talent is. He let he lets um, people through for uh, having big tits, and that's uh, that's more or less it. The uh, complaints about all, like bands all sounding the same with pop and stuff like that. The, the guy's a complete jackass. He has no idea what he's doing. Have this stuff that Simon Cowell thinks his goo gets forgotten about within the next um, next few months, and then the people are doing just TV shows um, on 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 ITV and stuff like that. Um, also, um, I, I think this is a good move to do with Slipknot because, um, Paul Gray doesn't deserve to get, uh, replaced even though he's dead. There's no one who can, um, replace Paul Gray, uh, the guy, the guy probably had about, like, 12 billion, um, bass tunings, all sounded amazing, um, that... Just, just trying to find replace him. It, it, it just doesn't sound right. Um, the likes of Metallica were able to do that, but I feel after Cliff Burton, um, they, I mean, I've got no problem with their new bass player, that Robert guy. Um, I've got no problem with him. The guy's good as well. It's just, it's never going to be. You're never going to be able to. Like, it's never going to be like how it was before. And it's, it's a. Uh, I, I I do think that they're probably doing the right thing. I mean, Corey should probably stick with doing um Stone Sour and um. And the drummer Joey uh, should stick to doing uh, Murder Dolls. I'm quite a fan of Murder Dolls. It's a shame like they they had to cancel their tour as well. Murder Dolls had to uh, because of um there was like personal reasons and like it's just if stuff happens in your life you you just have to uh, cancel. I mean I'm sure whatever happened is quite major and it's it's just um I hope I hope they manage to get that sorted out. And I think I'll leave it at a, uh, a high note. Anvil. I Anvil. I'm surprised they're not um they're not a lot further than like where they are now. Um, they they've they've signed with the End Records. Um, Anvil. Um, more or less, if you Anvil inspired the likes of Metallica and Slayer and Anthrax. If it wasn't for Anvil, there wouldn't be any Metallica or Slayer or anyone like that. I mean, I'm just so surprised that um, there was a documentary I I saw about Anvil. I felt so bad for them because um. There, like I, I would say, like I'm sort of living through that. However, it's not the case. I'm my life's a bit better, and um, it's it's a. I I ho- I wish Anvil all the best. I'm sure from here on out. It's just I I I wish I could remember what the uh, their their documentary was. It's uh, it it was really really touching though. Uh, he was falling out with his guitar. No, I think his drummer and everything. It was it was like so sad to see. But I mean. I'm surprised the likes of uh, Metallica didn't uh, like try and help him, but I guess um, you, they probably just didn't know. Um, well, anyway, yeah, yeah, that was that was my video. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you've got any questions, just just uh, just ask, and I'll I'll do my best to uh, to speak to you about it. Um, we'll see you.